little pottery dog, $4.50. This cross, $4.50. This duck with a chipped, that's heavy, that's like concrete, $4.50. What do you want to bet? $4.50. Broken flower. The music box has been taken out of it. $5.50. Oh, you gotta pay extra whenever there's no music. We'll get a cart here because it's large. It's a large store. It's a super store. Well, hello. We are at Goodwill today, which is very strange. I have not been here in so long. Also, I think after that I might go to Savers, which is just down the street. Okay, so it has been so long since I've been... This is really cool. $2.54. That's actually not bad at all. And... Um, I've, that's an interesting bird. I'm looking to make sure all the flowers are in good shape. And I gotta test that it works. Yes, it works. Okay, well, look at that. I don't have a card or anything, but that's really unique. I'm surprised to get that. And then I was noticing this here. That's a really pretty, it's newer. It's China, made in China, $1.32. That's really not bad at all, those prices. Oh, now this. This looks like an older piece. I don't know, I think it actually is newer, but it resembles some of the older pressed glass patterns, the early American pressed gla pattern glass that is out there. That's really, that's really cool. Oh, look at these. They almost look like the old furniture movers or something, but they're like little tea light holders. Okay, and there's some larger platters down there. This looks like a piece of Turkish glass. It's newer. But you could get a lot of this stuff out of home goods these days. I don't know what's with Goodwill and light bulbs, but every time I come here, they've got an end cap full of light bulbs. I just, maybe they own stock in the company or something. New York City tray, that's really cool. $1.32. These are some really good accessible prices. Oh, now this is Caliprint, if I'm if my memory's correct. I don't actually, no, that's not true. Callaway? I can't remember this pattern, but it's a corning. It's a corning pattern and Corel, they did plates and corning and Corel and Pyrex are all very similar companies and they uh, are together. They're owned by a parent company. I think it would be corning that owns Pyrex and Corel. We've got some precious moments figurines and I don't really do a whole lot with these. This is a China, made in China vase. You could just have that, it just has that look. Now this looks like a Capo del Monte type, made in it's Italy type deal, although this could be Taiwan or China, and it is Taiwan. Night, uh, it's $1.32, and it has all the applied flowers on it, which is really cool, but a lot of times these things are broken, so you could tell that that one there is broken, and that's just the way it is. Got this butter dish with the poinsettia on it, $2.54. That's not bad, you know, for Christmas time. People are always looking for butter dishes anyway. So I am tempted by that. So I'll go ahead and pick this one up. I think that's not a bad price at all. They have all the mugs here, but I've really gotten away from buying mugs and selling mugs over the last few years. When I used to have my Etsy shop, I would, you know, buy more stuff like this because they're more giftable and you could put them on there and let the right buyer come along. These are Corel. They're, these are Corel mugs. I love Corel, owned by Corning. And this this too is also Corel. I just, I find it's just really, it's affordable, it's lightweight, it's durable. There's the matching plate set down there. And there's also some false graph plates down here as well. These are the false graph in the Yorktown, really popular pattern. False graph is usually marked on the bottom. It's incised, meaning it's like, written into the pottery. They got stickers over everything, but you get it, you figure it out. All right, now the thing about this Goodwill, there's really just like these two, sh so there's this shelf, like in all these dishes, and I'm gonna be honest, I don't really buy a lot of dishware and stuff. Not my thing. So we've got this, oh, those are really pretty plates down there. And if you look around, you can find the matching cups and everything else so we've got this this aisle with all of that and then we have th this section over here that we looked at and then the only other spot with the vintage and stuff like that would be this aisle this aisle has just mostly crafts and stuff in it though and it's sort of it's like housewares and I've occasionally found some stuff in it 
to get all that yarn for $10.77. Yarn's pretty expensive if you've ever tried to do anything with it. I have not, but I do know that it is not cheap. Lint rollers, but they're $2.54. I wish they were cheaper. I do like that. I do use those, but that seems like expensive, doesn't it not? There is also this back section. It has lamps on it and VCRs and electronics and some other like outdoorsy larger housewares. And this is where you'll find George Foreman sometimes. Not the person, that would be alarming. But it's like, here's a waffle maker. Hamilton Beach. Okay, there's a sewing machine for $25, an old one, a boom box type deal over there. I like to look at the artwork. This is the all of it right here on this, on this wire rack. It's all prints, newer prints that I can tell. We've got like this 1990s thing, that fresco style. That's also print, it's all printed. Ooh, coffee things, word, word art. Nothing with a lot of age on it or quality that I'm seeing. Just lots of things from Big Lots or Walmart or anywhere else. So that is all we're gonna do there. There's a lot of keyboards. And then there's the record machine, record player for $24, VCR. I've sold a few VCRs back in the day. They used to do really well on eBay. Printers, Who's, who, who is buying a used printer? I have been through so many printers and what happens is the ink like dries up or something in the thing and then even if you get a new cartridge, you can't do it and then if you wanna clean it, you gotta get some special thing to clean it and it's just like hardly worth it. Put this fresh cart out and I'm looking at it. There's lots of shoes. I noticed some Spice of Life corning on the top. I've got some Converse. I do not sell shoes or clothes. But there is the, oh that's, is that the abundance pattern? I can't remember this one here with the crock pot. Maybe I made that up. I know this is Spice of Life and it's made by uh, corning. It's very popular. So they got that large, whoops, I almost dropped my thing. They got that one and then this large one there. And there's also a little Christmas church there. Not tremendously old. And some plates. Well, I'm gonna go up to the front and check the jewelry and then we might leave. Now let's try Savers Thrift Superstore. It's been oh, equally as long that I've been in here. So let's hope for the best. We'll get a cart here because it's large. It's a large store. It's a superstore. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right, they went to self-checkout, I forgot. Everybody's going to self-checkout. See what it, like, there's so much. So there's all of this Christmas. Oh, it's just, it's becoming that time of year, isn't it? All right. Luckily here, they don't have loud music playing currently, but they usually do. They're on a commercial break. Oh, she is missing her head. She just has a little string for it. She is on fire. Okay, so I don't see anything I want over here. I might be going quickly for some, but I mean, my eyes are fast. Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. Oh, there's Thanksgiving stuff. You know, I'm not even gonna bother anymore trying to get Thanksgiving stuff. I'm just gonna go straight to Christmas. <gasps> oh, now these are popular. These are acrylic lucite. Oh, it's one of the flowers. Petals is missing. If it's a, oh, and something's broken here. I don't know what would have been here. Maybe like a little something or other. And there's no price on it anymore either. Well, that's a failure. We won't do that. Let's see, there's plates, little statues. Here's the bottom of a fairy lamp. This is Stars and Bars by Indiana Glass. It's $2.49. And it's, this is called flashed. It's like a sprayed on coloring. So the red is sprayed over amber glass. A little praying angel, more plates. Let me get away from the, I usually don't go thrift. Well, I usually don't go thrifting, but I usually wouldn't go thrifting on a weekend either. And that's currently what we're doing here. So 
there's going to be a lot more activity, but maybe we'll find more stuff if they're putting more things out. And they also have lots of bags that will go through at some point on the wall. Now on this side of the aisle, it's the same Christmas shelf section. There might be something else we can find. Little wooden Santas, some candles, some tree, like, yeah, no. Stocking hang things. I am just not seeing what I want for resale. These are cute, they're plastic. Little green dessert cups. These red vases are lovely. A lot of them are just, you know, what you'd get free if you got flowers delivered, like FTD. These look plastic. They are plastic. They have little bubbles in them. If this was glass, that would be pretty cool, but plastic. No sir E. All right, let's go to the next aisle, which is, I don't even know. It's been so long since I've been here. It is, okay, so it's like vases and other like home decor items. That's acceptable. We will accept that. Oh, here we have this egg. Now that's really nice. So I have sold something like this before. What I have sold was, I believe, made in Germany. Yeah, the flower is broken off of that one right there. So I'm not going to bother. Here's a June angel. I do really well with the June angel or with the angels. This flower has been broken off the tip. Usually the uh, wings will be screwed up and maybe if there's a halo, that would be screwed up, but she's just a girl. Well, there's just straight up no head on that. Why would you bother putting that out for, really? For $4.50 with no head? Is that a sailboat or a sail or is it just a, what is this? It's just a triangle. Well, $4.50, little clock, nautica. Nautica clock. This is kind of nice. It's large. It's this is now this is. Uh, hmm. It looks like a crafted piece. It has that like lighter weight feel of the pottery whenever you, but it's airbrushed. That's pretty. This cart is just too much for what I need, I guess, because I haven't found a darn thing yet. There's a coconut, and it says carnival on it probably from a carnival cruise. Hmm. It's a little pottery dog, $4.50. This cross, $4.50. This duck with a chipped, that's heavy, that's like concrete, $4.50. What do you want to bet? $4.50. Broken flower. The music box has been taken out of it. $5.50. Oh, you gotta pay extra whenever there's no music. I see how it is, Sabres. I see. Here's a resin thing, $4.50. Okay, let's look at the bags. Our, I'm half tempted to not and just glance at them. Okay, so there's home decor, home decor, home decor. I have actually found some interesting things in these bags before and I'm gonna just kind of go on right on by and look, which I'm doing. I'm losing interest as I walk. Okay, is this Linux or is it Belique? This ornament. That looks like Belique. May the road rise up to meet you. It's $3.90, so it's $4. I'm looking for the Belique logo, but I don't see it on there. In any event, $4 is doable. So I'll, I'll do it. I'll be a sport. Okay, so look at that, we found something just in these little bags. A pin cushion with probably broken flowers. $2.30, it's not too much. Oh, here's a Tanala pottery. Oh, that's lovely, it's like of a little bird for $4. This is tempting. I might get this one. Oh, 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 okay, isn't, that makes more sense, it's an owl. So on this side, it's an owl. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get that. And then this side has a bird painted on it for $4. See, because it's in a bag, it's 50 cents cheaper. If it was on the shelf, it would be $4.50. Oh, these are neat. 
It's like a tangled up mess of people dancing in a circle. I love that for them. Okay, and then, look at this, I was almost gonna disregard all the baggies, but we, we did it. We did it so good. A couple little birds down there for $6. They're shakers, they look like made in China. They are China. Not that that's bad or anything, but just like uh, how 30 years ago, 40 years ago, whenever, made in Japan was seen as a lesser quality type of thing. Now we look at it and say, oh, it's nostalgic and wonderful and old. There are a lot of vases down this aisle. So I'm gonna do a quick glance to see if there's anything old and interesting. This is um, slightly mid-century looking. I don't know if it is. It might be, it reminds me of a HOTL, H-O-T-T-L-E. Like it would need a lid though, I don't know. It does have, look like it has some age on it. The color is cool. Milk glass, we just, we just, I don't bother at all with, with these. When I saw, see those, I think wedding. I think budget wedding. Okay, I'm, yeah, a lot of these are just vases that we do not want. I do not want. More milk glass vases. Okay, I am not seeing anything here that has any amount of quality that I would like to buy. I feel bad talking down on these vases. <laughs> they don't have emotion though. It's okay. This is similar to a Wonga burger, but it's a made in China for, five, for $3.50. They definitely have a lot more art here and we're gonna take a look at it. Uh, I and see if there's anything that we'd like for resale. Okay, I'm glancing that way, I don't see anything, so I'm just gonna go this way because there's a lot more piled up down here that I want to get to. So let's look over here in this section. Oh, yeah, in the smaller pieces. Let's see, that's print. What does it say? Something, something <laughs> for three dollars. Let me look down here. No. I don't think so. Okay, let's look this way now. Lots of electronics. Sometimes those old uh, clocks, like the ones that flip, are cool and they do well. I think Groundhog's Day, you know? Check in this fabric, seasonal fabric, to see if there was any interesting old stuff. Tree skirts would do well, of course. This is a machined embroidery piece. Machined versus hand sewn, that is. Hand sewn would be a little bit more desirable, you know. There's that handmade quality to it. I don't know what to think about this. I could just picture that like in a lodge, like a cabin somewhere, that tree skirt. There's this one. Snowflakes. There's this one with the burlap on it. All these stockings. Now, stockings are cool if you get like an old, interesting, handmade one. I don't know if we'll find any of those here. All these are store ones and new. Little baby ones. I'll even take like an old print, like from the 70s, 80s. I'll even accept an old print but I'm not seeing anything like that. So it's not gonna be one of those types of deals. There's all placemats up here. I don't think I wanna bother with placemats or napkins. Let's look at the Afghans and the blankets. They're right around this side. They've got lots of sheets as well, but we're not gonna do sheets. I used to sell a lot of sheets and pillowcases from the, like, Canon brand, Monticello, muslin, 50-50s, blends. Those are always good. These, this is pretty. I like a good afghan. I don't like using afghans. I like looking at them. Ooh, that's pretty. That's like a Christmas tree. It's $8. This yarn, it's a little pilly. 
just a little and there's like a big hole there it's barely it's a really loose weave I guess you'd call it lots of toes would be, get lost this mint is pretty that's a that's a nice color combination well I don't think I want any of those and they have larger comforters over there too Oops. well here's the well, let's see the pillow shams sheets we've got lots of pillows uh i think not restaurant wear like this is so nostalgic this is wellsville china out of ohio and look at that beautiful fade on there and this nice like dark burgundy red so great restaurant wear heavier china it's vitrified china heavy durable used in restaurants and uh, i like collecting like the mugs that have writing on them like i have one for for well i can't remember <laughs> i have a steak and shake mug i have a white castle mug and uh i like picking up the old ones from 60s 70s if i can maybe 80s maybe 90s <laughs> I'm clearly not that discerning about it, I guess. I even let it go into the 90s, I guess, because that's sort of my era of growing up, so. Okay, so we kind of made it a full circle moment. I think this is where we began. I think I'm gonna head over to the jewelry and check out the brooches and stuff like that, and then we'll check out. Okay, so right over here, Glasses, I won't even bother. I I don't. Let's see. Okay, so I've got lots of earrings. Where's the brooches? I like picking up brooches. They're simple. They can go on anything besides they don't have to go on an ear. They can go on a hat and or a blouse or and you can get fun with them, you know. You can have like different animals and all kinds of stuff. Oh, lots of drop earrings and stuff. those cats are cute. Oh, that's a brooch. Okay, five dollars. Mmm. Well, I'm not gonna do that. Bracelets. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm over it. I don't see anything I gotta get. So, I think we'll go check out now. Okay. So we just finished up at the Savers. Ooh, it was pretty good. So. Um, the ornament, I was looking it up. I could not find that it was Balik at all. I'm pretty sure it's Bradford Exchange. They're equal, they're pretty good. Bradford Exchange is, uh, nothing to laugh about. <laughs> nothing, you know, so, uh, I like it. I think it's a good one. I, when I was looking at it in the, in the place, I was, you know, the, the shamrocks looked similar, but they didn't look quite like the Balik shamrocks. It's just that the, the material looked a lot like, and I'm gonna even say Linux. With the, Linux has this like white and then the gold accents on it. Very similar to Balik. So I don't know, but uh, I don't think it's Balik, but that's fine. It's really, I, I love the shape of it and everything. So pretty cool. All right, well, I'll wrap it up here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.